that here we are on day two, searching for history on, on ploughed land, medieval town. Uh, as you know, as you can see, it's stubbled and high stubble and low stubble. It's, it's hard work. The sun is beating down on us at 27. We're down there. We've had loads of artefacts and Roman and corn and amber and all sorts around these fields. All over, absolutely awesome around here. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, we got a uh, musket uh, ball, 16th century. Musket ball, ball, 16th century. Yeah, Scott comes up with a cracking spindle wheel. Well done, mate. Medieval. Brilliantly done, Scott. Medieval, you've, got, you've reached the medieval cat get club. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we've got a coin. Not sure about this age, uh, some sort of uh, strap buckle, I think, because it's got. So it was on some tough fitting of uh, leather, I think, there. So a horse buckle mount of some kind. So. Not sure on the age, probably late 19th, 20th century. Uh, military button, Second World War. Small one. Oh, you got that again. Few bit bits. of lead, some buttons and this. Oh, you got gilded. Hang on, yeah, we got a builder, the gilded button there. Let me can. I think it is. Nothing spectacular, but it's gilded. Because it's got to go so far, which is good news. Uh, he's got some sort of type of button there. Uh, bit don't bit want the lead bits, Ken. No, you don't want them. Uh, and then we've got a pistol shot. Uh, and then, of course, the star of show for our Ken for this morning is. Excellently done there, Ken. Cartwheel penny, 1797. Well done, lad. Well done. I don't know if you can see that. I won't spend it all at once. Yeah, I won't spend it all at once. But that's, yeah, that was heavy. You can't, oh, you might see the king there, George the Third. Cartwheel penny. Excellently done. Brilliant, Ken. That's best find today for our Ken. I'm so with that. Yeah, Ken's happy, so. What Start, do you think, Ken? Starting with the coins now. Yeah, starting some, with the big What do you think of that, Ken? What, what number was that on your knocks? 32. 32. Wow. Can't wheel penny. Blew your head off, didn't it, Ken? What you got there, pal? Come on. Well, uh, mostly buttons. Oh, okay. uh, what do you got? A military. A military uh, button there. Yeah. Military button. Let's see if we can see any. Anything there? Any? Uh, is it that way around? I can't see. Yeah, I can't, I couldn't figure out which way. Which way around? Just I think it clean. was like that. I don't know. Yeah. You need to clean, don't it? Oh uh, yeah. No doubt the audience will say hey, it's a so so button. Right. Uh, that's unusual. Actually. It's a nice two piece button anyway. Yeah. And... yeah. So that's a military button. And all the 17th got century a bunch buttons. Of pewter, yeah. A lot of pewter buttons. Uh, yeah. Pewter buttons. 17th century. Uh, we'll leave that for last. Uh, same again there. Uh, oh yeah, it's all buttons really on, on this one. Yeah. And that we thought was a coin. We think it could be a small coin there, a small coin there. I think that could be a small coin. That's definitely, I think that could be a farthing like you just said. Yeah. This I think is, um, it's got some writing on that. We've got to clean that up. Yes. Yeah, that, that's something interesting. It's not silver, but it's something, isn't it? It's a coin or it was something they turned into a pendant. Yeah, I think so. Token or... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, scanning the top of the... On the top, I just found a bit of uh, pottery. I think a bit of Victorian, maybe yep, a blue yep. glaze. I'll go with you. You don't. Yeah. There you go. So that's a bit of a boat. I think it's a plate of some kind. Yeah. So there must be eating on the field. Um. Then we have probably a bit of it. A bit more pottery. Not quite sure the age of that. Probably the same period. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have here. It's a, part of a, a clay a clay pipe stem. 18th century-ish. Gives a date, really. And then we just got all the buttons and I think, I don't know what that is. Oh, Andy, what's that? Yeah, that's, that's, that's like, strange. That's like kind of holes in a button. Must yeah. be some sort of tip design, don't know about yeah. that one. Some George the Third half pennies. George the Third half pennies. That's what we got. Nice. It's, and it's got some grips on, so ah. it's, so I think that's that's fastened into the leather, and then it's might have broken off there. But that's some sort of buckle fastening leather thing. I don't know. 
I'm not quite sure the age, but probably 19th century, early 20th. Not anything spectacular. Oh! It's mobile phone. Oh, power. yeah! Get that one. Samsung. You're not gonna. Uh, you're not gonna tell us the joke. I'm gonna try and tell it. <laughs> <laughs> so was that, was that was that eyes only, Ken? Yeah, it was eyes only. That <laughs> close up. Eyes only. That. I like the uh, straw. Uh, the straw joke you I had just yesterday. See if it works. Yeah. <laughs> Got some scratches on it. <laughs> Okay, we'll get to my count up because put the best. I last. have a surprise. Because this is a surprise. Man of the match, Scott, and I'm not saying anything else. Okay. For my sins today, in the hot 30 degrees weather. Well, it wasn't actually, we're in the evening, aren't we? Nice, the boys. Uh, I'm going to go for one Victorian penny. Slightly. Not quite straight. <laughs> Tea. Uh, uh. Button. 17th century. I'm so excited. <laughs> Two. <laughs> pistol shot. Yeah. At least that's old. We should have pistols. <laughs> pistol shot. And the final find of, of the evening is awesome. 20 pence, 2018. That was my excitement evening. Hager Hogan. This is, this is good stuff. Look at this. Yeah. It's a wheat beer. It's a wheat a beer, chaps. Wheat a beer. It makes you witty and wheat. I like it. I really like it. Oh, that's a bigger one. Yeah. Musket shot, man. Musket ball. There you go. 16th century. Get At least he's got some age. <laughs> Isn't it, Ken? You get that itch around your neck, you know. Yeah, that. hey. You get it with that, you're definitely the plaster. <laughs> Let's do Scott Boy. Alrighty. Show us up now. So Scott. I've got a bunch of stuff that I found, but yeah, I have two things that I'm not going to show until the end, and uh, John hasn't seen them. Ooh. You got a George the Third, half penny, half penny. Yeah, probably it's um, around about the seventeen seventies. That 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 issue, I would say. And I actually found one of these in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, in the so, U.S. So he does know what he found. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Quite clean. Uh, some kind of a lead slug. I, I don't. Does anybody know what that is? Because I don't slug, have a clue. Yeah. Some sort of lead lead, lead slug. Bullet, isn't it? It's I flat know, on I both sides. I don't know what it is. No idea. We've got a button, uh, very thin. It's kind of beat up, but uh, uh, yeah, a button just the same. Yeah, okay. And then we have two other. Uh, these are what mid mid nineteen hundreds. Yeah, just yeah mid nineteen. Four hole, buttons. two hole yeah. buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exciting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, musket or pistol? Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, a musket light bulb. shot. Yeah, yeah, that's a musket one. Okay. Yeah. Um, and this, um, you said that was a type of a buckle. Yeah, a small yeah. buckle, definitely. And I, I think it's 17th century anyway, so. And one thing and you don't then, find in the U.S. Oh, look at that. Spindle fun. whirl. Oh, man, medieval spindle whirl. Is that awesome? Is that awesome, eh? Now that is cracking. That is. So, Scott Boy is, is going into the medieval period now. Into the but, medieval period. But wait. There's more. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh, no. And this is a and, price. And John does not know this. Oh. Another mess. Oh, that. Look. That is got two. Uh, I think that's. That could be Celtic. Or Saxon. Oh, that is. That is freaking awesome, pal. And. There's more. There's more. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. 
Oh, <laughs> that could be Roman. That could be a Roman spindle oil. Isn't that crazy? Uh, Three. Is... What is the Three. what's the record for one day? Five. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Got a long way to beat me, mate. Right. <laughs> but I think that's a Roman but... spindle world because they're always they're always blank and and, and, wow. uh, yeah. and flat and no design. Yeah. You know? He's into, he's into Roman now. So he's into medieval, Roman, Georgian, 16th century. Doom well, Scott. Doom well. There you go. Well done. Three in one night. Well done. That's that's awesome, pal. Honestly. Uh, and you can tell them about the field when we went on. What was the problem with the field? Oh, I have to good, uh, use uh, good language, right? Yes, reasonably. Um, manure. There's cow manure that has been sprayed all over the field. Liquid wild. Liquid. Liquid. So we had to walk through it, Pink which means manure. our shoes are outside. And, and the dog is outside. Having a wash. Oh, having yes, a shower. Yes, yes. And, and we've all had to wear pegs. <laughs> but it was a beautiful night. Yeah, so we're going to get up early tomorrow because it's so hot. So it's 6 o'clock start tomorrow morning. Out where it's a bit cooler. And then finish about 10 o'clock. It just shows when you, when you go metal detecting, it's not all hammered and everything else. Although Scott's done really well today. He's found lead, medieval, spindle words. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Anyway, thank you very much. Sorry for blabbering on. Uh, cheers. Uh, catch you uh, tomorrow um, when we do uh, probably another hours day, couple of hours dig, and then we'll give you an idea what we find. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Catch you later, guys. Bye for now. Okay.